Hello, greetings from Camp Fremont. Today I'm going to tell Evie how to create a lovely flower bed. Are you ready? Yep. Let's do it. Let's walk on. <laughs> Okay, Evie, the first thing that you need to know when you're creating a flower bed is, yeah. or really landscaping your, your yard in general, mm -hmm. you're, gonna, you're gonna need to remove things. Okay, bushes, trees, shrubs, things that are not working, and it's gonna be painful. Because yeah. you, know, you know why it's gonna be painful? Because there are some flowers and... They, they might be alive and doing well, yeah. yeah. They might be alive and doing well, but they're not the right fit. Uh, in this little space right here, there was some bamboo shrubs. Um, I personally do not like bamboo. Yeah. I think they're pretty invasive. So they had to go. And they were alive and they probably enjoyed being here. But unfortunately they had to leave my, my property. So that's the first step. Removing things that are not working so that you're not planting around them. Because you're going to have to live with that. Mm -hmm. And you want it to feel good, right? Yeah. So I had to remove those. Okay. The second thing is creating structure in your garden so it looks good even, even in the winter. So this holly bush was already here and so I loved it because it's evergreen. It creates a lot of wonderful structure for the winter and it'll be a nice backdrop in the spring and yeah. the summer. So it stayed, okay? It stayed. Uh, the next thing is uh, your color scheme, picking out the flowers. I have been really into pinks and purples mm, and white. An occasional white yeah the white is really good to kind of break it up a little bit um, mm -hmm. and give your, your eye something to kind of rest on yeah. so that's what I've been using lately and you have to decide what you what colors you like but this is what I've been liking lately mm -hmm. um, so in the back I did a purple sage and this blooms from spring to fall mm -hmm. so it's and it's a perennial it's gonna come back year after year in this spot and it's going to grow quite tall, so it'll be nice in the back. And then in the middle section here, I did a gar gara, which I love. Yeah. It's got these wispy little fronds here with this like white them. flower. It's beautiful. And this will get quite quite big, but not as large as the sage. So it's a good mid mid plant. And then in the front here, I'm putting um, delphinium. And this is going to be blue. And I actually bought this online from uh, White Flower Farms. And I've bought a lot of plants online and it's always worked out. So don't hesitate to buy things online. When you're shopping online in the evenings, Abby, feel free to buy plants. Yeah. Don't be scared, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna put this last delphinium in here and throw some Happy Frog soil conditioner over it. Give it some good water. And um, maybe in the next episode, I'll tell you my other secrets that I add, okay? My secret sauce. That's coming up next, all right? Yep. So save that mm -hmm. in your diary. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for coming today on tips and secrets on creating a flower bed on your property.